Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. Another predictions video, guys. Now, um, Great Balls of Fire. What can I say about Great Balls of Fire, apart from the fact I hate the name of the pay-per-view? Now, a little update. Apparently, it's going to be a recurring pay-per-view as well. Every year, we're going to have a Great Balls of Fire. Isn't that just great? But yeah, let's go to the card, give you guys my predictions, talk a little bit about the feud, if uh, if it's important or not. And yeah, when you guys are watching this, I'm currently in England. I'm going to try and get some supercar videos for you guys while I'm in England, because obviously you guys don't want to see videos that date from three days or four days ago, because it's obviously not uh, up to date in supercar, and that's very important. So I'm going to try and get some videos for you guys out while I'm in England. It's going to be quite hard. But I'm going to probably pre-record a couple, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy them and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get straight in into the card and we're going to start off with the pre-show match, which is Neville versus Akira Tazawa. Neville has been a, a one-man wrecking crew since he's won the championship. Uh, he's gone over pretty much clean against Austin Aries like three times in a row now. Uh, no, sorry, the second match he, did, he didn't win clean, but... Great, great showing. Uh, three times against Austin Aries, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Neville on this one. I think he's he really is the king of the cruiserweights. He really is good. Anyway, next we move on to a feud that I've actually really enjoyed. Didn't think I would as much. I really enjoyed his promo on Raw uh, on Monday, and yeah, looking forward to them. It might not be the best match, but yeah, it's gonna put a turn maybe to this feud. And let's be honest. I think I know who's going to win. But anyway, Enzo Amore versus Big Cass. That's the match. Um, I, I like Enzo. I'm starting to like Enzo more um, since Cass. Like, you know, his promo was pretty decent. I, I, I liked it. But there's only one winner for this match, and that's Big Cass. In my opinion, at least. We move on to the next match, which is The Miz versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, um... I'm going to go straight off the bat with Miz, and I'm going to explain why. He's got the Miz Taraj. There's going to be some kind of interference, I'm guessing. Miz will win that way. This feud has gone on for quite a while now. I'm getting a little bit sick of it. So, yeah, this will put a good end to it. I hope Dean doesn't win it off, um, off Miz again, because that would just be... Yeah, no, I want to see Miz hold it for a long, long time. He's good with the belt. Really, like, gets the, um, the value of it, kind of, like, raises it. Raises the bar, really. So, yeah, let's go with a Miz win on this one. So I think it's going to win at least. Next match is an interesting one because it could be really good or it could kind of be a flop on the card. Um, so we're just going to have to wait until the pay-per-view to see. But that is Cesaro and Sheamus, the reigning Raw Tag Team Champions, defending against Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. Now, this is a 30-man uh, Iron Man match, 30-minute Iron Man match. Um, so again, it could be a bit long and tedious or it could be great. And with the workers that are participating in this match, I think it really is going to be a fantastic match. There's going to be loads of great spots with Cesaro in there. Matt and Jeff are going to do some good shit. And I, oh, I love Sheamus, and he's going to be awesome in it. And yeah, but who do I think is going to win? Um, well, this is a tricky one. This really is a tricky one because, yeah, I've gone with all the heels so far. But will Matt and Jeff win them back? Because they're meant to split up eventually. Who do I see winning this? Uh, I'm going to go with the Hardy Boys. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Hardy Boys to win. Title change. Yeah, going to go with the Hardy Boys on this one. It's a bit of a dangerous prediction, but if I'm, I'm, I keep going with the heels, and it's not going to be it's not going to be that way. So anyway, we move on to Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt, which is a match I really couldn't give a shit about, which is sad to say when there are people like Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt in this match. The feud is just... Boring as hell, um, just I'm not interested at all, and I'm going to go with Seth Rollins to win. I think uh, I think Bray will, will eat another loss on a pay-per-view, and I think Seth there, uh, yeah, Seth needs to, needs to get a win. So yeah, I'm going to go with Seth for this one. We move on to Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the Raw, Raw Women's Championship. I, know, I had a lot of trouble saying Raw. Um, this is, a, again, another tricky one. I'm not sure if WWE... Maybe are seeing that Alexa Bliss maybe isn't the best in the ring and maybe she shouldn't hold on to the championship. I don't know after like that awful segment. Uh, this is your life. That 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 segment and just I don't know. Maybe they want to go with another direction. Maybe Sasha Banks is the direction they want to go in. It's tricky. It really is. As much as I love Alexa Bliss, um, favorite diva on the roster. I'm gonna go with the Sasha Banks win. 
I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know, but I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. Then we move on to Roman Reigns versus... It says Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, but that's clearly not true. Um, on here it says, but yeah, it's against Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. Looking forward to this match. Love the feud. Love Braun Strowman. Um, yeah, hoping it's going to be a decent match. And the winner of this match, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Uh, ah, I don't know the direction they want to go with this. Because it was meant to be Braun versus Brock at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. And then and apparently maybe like plans are changing and they're kind of looking at Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. So it's a really tricky one. It's a really tricky one. I don't want them to kind of like... I, I, don't, I don't want Roman to go over clean against Braun. Um, and I don't think he will. I think Braun's going to get the win. I think Braun is just... Yeah, he really is. He really is just fantastic. You know, I, I see him destroying Roman. Um, hope it happens. I really do. Yeah, we're going to go with Braun Strowman to win the ambulance match. Next, we've got... And the match I'm actually looking forward to the most on the card. And for once, it's actually the main event. And that is Brock Lesnar defending his Universal Championship against Samoa Joe. The build-up to this feud has been on point. Freaking love it. Um, Joe has looked like a monster these last couple of weeks, and I'm going to go with Barack Lesnar to retain. I can't, I can't go against it. It might happen. Samojo might win. The odds aren't very big. I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar. That wraps up my Great Balls of Fire predictions. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think is going to happen at Great Balls of Fire. Let me know if you think anyone's going to return, make their debut, any cool shit like that. And all your predictions in the comments, if you guys obviously want to leave them. A big, big thank you guys for 6,000 subscribers on YouTube as well. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, guys. 6,000, absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you to each and every single one of you who have subscribed, watched one of my videos, liked one of my videos, commented in one of my videos, anything. Thank you a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. And let's 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 hit for 10k subs, guys. That's that's the dream. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Drop it a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my predictions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So then, take care and peace. Thoughts.